Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today, we're going to take a look at the ARRL uh, 40 through 10 NFED half wave. Uh, as I reported in the Ask Dave column in the uh, May QST, uh, it can be extended to 80 meters fairly simply. But then I had uh, an, an Augie approach me uh, about how he created a way uh, to bring up the 80 meter performance up to 75 meter performance in the band, uh, 80 meter band, without messing with the performance of the antenna in the 40 through on up. So that's what we're doing. We are going to actually take that antenna, which was covered in a previous video, and we're going to extend it, show that it can work on 80 meters as well as the other bands, and then we are going to add that little capacitor uh, and see how much that changes things. So uh, we're going to look at some charts right now, and when we're done with those, I'll be right back. Before we jump to the charts, let me say a special thank you to Alain S., who is a new patron and is helping keep the channel funds afloat. If you would like to become a patron, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash ke0og. Okay, the goal of our modification to the ARRI... <laughs> The goal of our modification to the ARRL antenna is first to extend it to 80 meters and second to see if we can pull that 80 meter part up into the uh, 75 meter part. Now a previous video covers the assembly, the erection and testing of the basic antenna and it works fine uh, in the 40 through 10 mode. Uh, let me just show you what that antenna is. Um, it's inexpensive, $80, okay, it's a kit, and it happens to include having to drill the holes. Uh, turns out it's not as difficult as I thought it would be, uh, and it worked out fine. So um, this is the antenna. Now, it's designed originally for 40 uh, through 10 meters, 40, 20, 15, and 10, the traditional bands. And uh, as it turns out, it's a 49 to 1 ballon, so we could try running it on 80 as well. The method we're going to use is adjust the end of the antenna to accept a wire extension. Now, this is a no change modification from the last video. And we're going to check all the SWRs to show that nothing is messed up by our no change change. Uh, then we're going to add the wire to include 80 meters without messing up the rest of the antenna. And we're going to double check the SWRs and see what it is on 80 also. Then we're going to add a capacitor to show 80 moved up to 75 and the rest of it unchanged and check the final SWRs. Special thanks go to Joe Barcello, KB2JSB, for bringing to my attention that the ARRL kit can be extended to 80 meters. Steve Ellington, N4LQ, told me of his technique to add capacitance to move the 80 meter portion of this antenna to 75 meters. This is described in my Ask Dave column in May 2023 QST. Um, this is what I had before, the original method. I had an insulator here uh, and I brought the wire here to where it needed to be and just wrapped the wire back around itself. Okay, now that's pretty hard to extend because there's no bare wire in there. So the modification that I made was simply to take all this looped wire here off and put a piece on here that was just bare copper wire that I could extend um, 
something too so we can get to the 80 meters. But the first thing we had to do was to make sure it still worked on 40 meters. So that's what we did. Here's a picture of my assistant, Aiden, who is attaching the 49 to 1 dipole there and we're going to make the change. This is what it looks like on the end uh, of the antenna that is by the ballon. It's this connector here is both crimped and soldered. So it is in there pretty tightly. Okay, and we had to take this off so we could take the entire wire inside to make the modification. This is what we did. We soldered onto the wire here a little bare wire extension into the insulator that came with the kit. Okay, just so that it has something we can solder to when we're done. Then we took it back outside and put the antenna back up. The goal of this was to make sure that nothing had changed. Okay, here is what we came out. This is the antenna actually in the original configuration. Okay, but with this change that I mentioned here. So we'd have something copper to grab onto. And right here, we're attaching a 20 foot mast to the side of the house with literally bailing wire. So here are the SWRs after we made that uh, tiny no change modification. Uh, 40 meters is uh, anywhere from about 1.6 to two on 40 meters, easily tuned with the antenna tuner in your modern radio. Uh, 20 meters, it's under two to one across the band. Uh, 15 meters, under two to one across the band. And 20 meters, it's under two to one across the band, except something really, really tiny uh, right here, okay? So now I mentioned that we were gonna modify it so that we had something copper at the insulator. Okay, now the next thing to do is to modify it for 80 meters by adding a wire, that gold color is supposed to be copper, to where the insulator is. So what we did was we added 66 feet of wire. It turns out to be white, stranded, uh, 12 gauge, which is royal pain to work with, uh, and got that soldered on there now. So now we've got a 66 foot wire extension. We took that out, put it all back up, and then took the end of that piece out to a tree where we tied it to a tree. This is what we get on 80 meters. So it's down kind of low, 3.66. Uh, the frequency for FT8 is right in here and could be run uh, very easily with that, but uh, you do get part of the phone band, but then, you know, the SWR gets a little bit high as you come out here. Here are the other SWRs. This is with the modification, the 80 meter modification. We're okay on 40 under two to one. We're okay on 20 under two to one, under 1 1.5 to one. On, part of the band. We're under two to one across most of the uh, 15 meter band and certainly under three to one. So your antenna can handle it just fine. And then the rig, ex uh, the rig expert finally shows that on 10 meters, we've got just a little bit under two to one or over two to one here, but it's easily tunable. Now let's make our modification. The modification, this is what we have modified for 80 meters our insulator and we take the existing wire and attach to it another wire. Modified for 75 meters, we put in a 470 picofarad, three kilovolt capacitor right there at the center. Notice here the wire goes through, notice here the wire is broken. The capacitor that I used came from this kit from Amazon, which was only $10. And it has three kilovolt high voltage capacitors. And I used a 470 picofarad because that was one of the ones that was uh, suggested. Here you can see you get 10 of each in the box. 
you'll have these till the day you die, probably. They're uh, very inexpensive capacitors. Note that the wire leads are not very thick, so I'm thinking that although it can handle the voltage, it may not handle the current. Uh, we'll have to see. So far, I've just tried it with the SWR meter. So if you look here very carefully, um, this is the capacitor right there. See, the wire from the ballon comes in here and comes here through the capacitor and then out the other side and attached to this wire right here. This, by the way, is the antenna mast. So let's take a look at what happened. Here's 80 meters. 80 meters went from a minimum at 3.66 megahertz to a minimum at 3.84 kilohertz. So almost a 200 kilohertz change. And note that even going up to 75 meters is two to one. You get two to one. By the time you get down here, to the uh, FT8 frequencies, it gets unwieldy. So you gotta pick one or the other, okay? Now here is 40 meters. Note that the shape of the curve is very, very little changed. And notice that uh, we have slightly moved where it crosses uh, the middle of the band, but the point is that this is basically the same. So we changed 80 meters without changing 40 or 20 or 15 or 10, okay, by adding that capacitor. So, very interesting experiment, one that you can do too. So in conclusion, the ARRL 40 through 10 NFED half wave kit can easily be extended to 80 meters. Now, I want to point out, this thing was designed for 40 meters and up. If you find while operating this on 80 meters that your SWR starts to change a little bit, that is because you're heating up the ballon. Reduce power. It's not really designed. It's designed to take 250 watts on 40 through 10. I'd keep it down to 100 on uh, 80. And the other conclusion is the kit can be modified to cover a different part of the 80 meter band without changing performance on 40 through 10. You can do it. By the way, you can use this same trick if you have a uh, NFED halfway from my antennas that covers 80 through 10. You could put the capacitor in there and turn it into a 75 through 10. Um, my antennas could tell you what value of capacitance works best because that seems to be uh, what they're doing. So there you have it, a very interesting study on what can be done with an antenna kit from the ARRL. Note that this is really kind of the um, bottom line for ham radio. We're experimenting, we're learning things and trying, you know, I don't know how far we're pushing the boundary back on uh, radio performance, but these are a couple new techniques that uh, you too can use. If you'd like to help support this channel financially, you can do so by going to decastlercom slash support, picking a way that works for you. And until we next meet, 73.